like share subscribe to learn punjabi with leo hey guys my name is leo and you're watching learn punjabi with leo and welcome to my channel so guys today i have very amazing and informative topic for you and that is the script of the punjabi language which is the gurmukhi so today we are going to learn about this specific script of the punjabi language so without further undo let's get into the video the meaning of gurmukhi is from the mouth of the gurus and the gurmukhi script is derived from a landa script which is also known as the sharda script and it was standardized by the second guru known as angad guru of sikhism and it was standardized in around about 504 to 552 gurmukhi script is a abugeda script whose meaning is that the vowels and the consonant are written in the one unit to form a word and diacritics are used to alter the meaning of a word gurmukhi script is officially used in the punjab region of india the gurmukhi script consists of 35 letters known as panti akhar and it is divided into seven rows of five alphabet in 35 letters of gurmukhi the first row is known as laga matra or vowels that are used to connect with the consonant to form a word the second row is known as the vowel consonant and they are pronounced unglottalized and they are also known as the kevrag toli in the gurmukhi script the consonant in the second row are known as platals or affricates because when the consonant are pronounced the sound is released and stopped as a fricative these consonants are also known as chavrag toli in punjabi gurmukhi script the fourth row is known as the retroflex consonant because the sound is made by curling the tongue toward the back of the mouth platal the fifth row is known as dentals because the sound is made by touching the tongue to the upper teeth of the mouth and it is known as the tavar toli in the punjabi gurmukhi script the sixth row consists of the consonant which are pronounced with the help of the lips they are known as labials in the punjabi gurmukhi script in the gurmukhi script they are known as parvag toli the seventh row in the gurmukhi script is known as sonorath because the consonant has the resonant when they are pronounced the resonant meaning is that they have continuity when they are pronounced and in the gurmukhi script they are known as antim toli and there are also additional six letters that are not in the guru granth sahab but they are recently added in the gurmukhi script these letter are used to represent the foreign sounds which are derived from persian arabic and etc germination is used to elongate the sound of a particular word for example the word koda meaning is ugly or the person have some sort of disease and when the germination is used for example koda now the meaning is totally changed the meaning of this word is horse tippy and bindi are used to represent the long and the short vowels in the gurmukhi script of the punjabi language the gurmukhi script can fully convey the tone of a punjabi word the gurmukhi script is considered by some scholars the top notch script of the punjabi language on the other hand the gurmukhi script has created a deviation between the muslim population speaking the punjabi and the other population speaking the punjabi because muslim considered that the gurmukhi script is related to sikhism and on the other hand the sikh considered that the shamukhi script is related to muslims the both cannot learn the scripts of the punjabi in this way so this was the video guys i hope you enjoy the video and have learned something informative about the punjabi language i'll be back with another informative video about the punjabi language up until have a wonderful day